Hello, this is Avil from Hackaday, and this video is part of my review for the new Keysight X1000 series. So the whole review has actually been done as an article on Hackaday, and the link is in the description below. But in this video, I'll just be exploring some of the interesting math functions on this scope, and how you can use them with the supplied internal wave gen to do some interesting experiments. So to begin, I'll turn the wave gen on. I want a sine wave, it's already been selected for me, but if I wanted to I could select square, ramp and even noise. Uh, for the frequency I'll select 100 kilohertz. This actually goes up to 20 megahertz um, for the sine. Uh, the square goes up to only 10 megahertz, the ramp even worse, but I want 100 so I'll set that to 100 kilohertz. Once that's done, I'll just adjust the channel 1 scale to make it full screen so we can see it a bit easier. And if I zoom out a bit, there you can see a very nice, clean 100 kilohertz tone. Now, the wave gen actually lets you set modulation. So I'll go into the modulation menu, and I'll select modulation type as AM. You can select FM or FSK if you wanted to, but I'll stick to AM. For the modulating waveform, I'll select sine, but there are other options too. And for the AM frequency, I'll set that to 10 kilohertz. Once that's been set, I'll turn the modulation on, and you can already see some modulation going on, but in fact if I zoom out a bit and I adjust my trigger, you should be able to see it much more clearly. And I'll single shot that, so clearly we see a 100 kHz carrier and a 10 kHz envelope um, modulating that, and that's expected of course. So now I'll just hide channel 1 by pressing that, and that actually hides the channel. When I first got the scope, I thought it would um, physically disconnect it, but that's not true. It simply hides or shows it, which is excellent, because once you just hide the channel, you can still perform the FFT and math functions on it on while the channel is running in the background. So this way you can use your screen for what you want, rather than having to always show channel 1. So now I'll turn the math function on, and as you can see, in the math functions you have a choice of two functions to um, set. So the first one is FFT, which they call the displayed function. So this is the actual function that's shown on the screen. The other one, G of T, is one that runs in the background, and you can use that as part of other calculations. So I'll just show you how you could do that. So once that's selected, I'll go into the operator menu and I'll select multiply. So now this essentially multiplies source 1 by source 2. So source 1 has been selected to channel 1, and as source 2, I'll also select channel 1. So this is basically doing an x squared or a channel 1 squared operation. So that's all set correctly. I'll go back to the displayed function, and in the displayed function, I'll select the operator as the low pass filter, so that's a very interesting option that I haven't seen in other entry level scopes. And this is the main thing I wanted to show you. So I'll select the low pass filter. Uh, it lets you perform the low pass filter on either the channels or the math function that we've just defined. So I'll select the math function. Once that's selected, being a low pass filter, we can also set the bandwidth, obviously. So I'll set that to 10 kilohertz. So now we clearly see a tone but I don't how is it related to our original waveform to so to see that I'll just adjust the uh, the offset and I'll adjust the scale oops too much we need the fine controls so I'll set the offset so now we see a tone if I just adjust my time base and run this thing again you can see clearly we have some tone so to see how that's related to our original waveform, I'll turn channel 1 on again. And voila, we clearly see that just using the math functions, we seem to have demodulated our original AM waveform because the math function is um, tracking the envelope of, of an AM waveform, and that is demodulation. So to make sure we've actually done it, we can do some measurements. So I'll go into the measurement options. I'll select my source as the math function. And uh, in the operation type, I'll, in the measurement type, I'll select frequency. And there we see a 10 kilohertz um, reading. So it's saying that the math function is actually 10 kilohertz, which is obviously correct and expected because in the in the wave gen, we selected our modulation frequency to be 10 kilohertz. So then, just using our math function again, we've successfully demodulated an AM waveform, which is quite cool. So that's all for this video. Um, as I said, the link for the whole review is in the description below. Uh, check that out and keep an eye on this channel for more stuff.